I'm Vivian Malan. I'm the state veterinarian in Boerland and we're uh, situated in Elsenburg. African horse sickness is a serious disease of equines that is caused by a virus. It causes fever, swelling of the head uh, and death in animals if they are not vaccinated. And the typical signs when the horses are dead is that there is blood and froth coming from the nose and mouth. The disease is endemic in most of sub-Saharan Africa and also most parts of South Africa. We do, however, have a free area in the Western Cape, which is the reason why we've created a control zone for African horse sickness uh, with a free zone uh, in Cape Town and the surveillance and a protection zone around that. The disease is spread by midges, or in Afrikaans, mughis, uh, that uh, bite the horses. Uh, the midges uh, like areas which uh, is wet and humid and therefore uh, most abundant in wetland areas. It's important that uh, the midges uh, uh, only get infected by uh, a horse that is uh, infected with a disease uh, and the disease is then spread in that way. It cannot be spread from one horse to another. So the control zones uh, for African horse sickness is uh, very important uh, because we want to export our horses uh, from the free area, uh, which is why these zones were created. Uh, the infected and the protection zone horses uh, can only move into the area uh, when they have a permit, uh, but there are quite a lot of regulations and it is best uh, to consult uh, the website www.myhorse.org.za uh, to learn about all the different uh, requirements. Uh, the disease only affects equine animals, uh, uh, of which horses are the most important ones because they are the, the main ones that show symptoms and die. Donkeys and mules can also get the disease but seldom show symptoms and then zebras uh, uh, normally only carry the disease uh, but show no clinical symptoms. The uh, most important way to protect your horse is uh, by vaccination and there is a good uh, vaccine available which is a live vaccine that you have to give in two separate doses at least three weeks apart. In the infected and the protection zone it is compulsory to vaccinate your horse uh, while in the surveillance and in the free zone you have to obtain permission to do so. It's also important to note that you can only vaccinate your horse from the 1st of June to the 31st of October in the control area and it's also recommended to do the same in the rest of the country because uh, we've had cases of disease where uh, the virus was spread by midges uh, during the summer. Uh, then is uh, during the summer uh, or uh, the peak periods is to make sure that there is no contact between the horses and the midges and therefore uh, stabling them uh, for two hours after uh, sunrise and two hours before sunset uh, will prevent the midges from biting the horses. You can also apply an insect repellent containing DEET or an insecticide. You can also uh, make sure that you avoid any uh, marshy areas where the midges uh, do occur. It's also then important uh, to note that this is a notifiable or a controlled disease and you must therefore uh, notify your state veterinarian if you see any of the symptoms uh, described for the disease and our contact details are on the alsenberg.com website.